All right, if you got a Chevy Trailblazer and you have the reduced power message and uh, doesn't go over like five miles an hour, uh, I got a quick vid for you. You're watching the Car Doctor channel. All right, hey, welcome back. This is a 03 Trailblazer back here, but it's not the one we're working on. That one was an alternator issue. Oh, and I forgot the main reason I started filming out here. It's snowing, it's May 3rd, and it's still coming down, and I've still got snow everywhere, and we're just getting tired of it. It's uh, It's been a long one, so uh, hopefully the midnight sun comes out here and thaws things out soon, because this is just insane. And this is, this is melted back. We had over 100 inches of snow around the house this year and uh it's still coming down craziness this particular one's got the issue of the uh reduced power message it was towed over here he couldn't get more than five miles an hour out of it. it's got the 4-2 motor i think this is an 08 and uh it's got various codes in it we'll pull them out here and take a look okay we got our solus edge connected we will uh pull up this vehicle here and uh, show you what codes we've got in the engine control. All powertrain codes, we've got a whole slew of them. We got a U1000, that's a communication code. Uh, and this is actually after I've cleared the codes. Uh, there is a lean or a rich code that's no longer here, but uh, P0452, P1221, P1271, P1635, and a P1481. Uh, all these related to a 5 volt reference circuit. Um, the 5 volt reference circuit that affects the throttle position sensor, the accelerator pedal position sensor. Um, Here's just a plain Jane 5 volt reference. Uh, the cooling fan speed sensor here, uh, and the EVAP, uh, the, the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor gets a 5 volt reference all on the same circuit. This U1000 probably related, um, it's drawing down a module somewhere, but uh, not positive on that one. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at that five volt circuit okay uh here's the coolant you know it's a coolant fan clutch it's an electronic fan clutch uh it's this cluster down here i've got it disconnected i'm just back probing uh the pin on the gray wire we got a solid 5.5 volts here on that gray wire um you can pick up this five volt reference on uh, the other circuits as well but uh, this was an easy one I thought of getting to I'm just gonna back probe it here and reconnect that bad boy okay we're reconnected back probed on the reference circuit five volts uh, one thing you can do is just see that this the fan spins freely this one's a little stiff don't know what's going on but uh in this case check this out just hit the fan here bingo and simultaneously you hear a chime in here and once again after even clearing the codes the reduced power message is displayed So there is a positive diagnosis here. Can't get it to do it now. There we go. Yeah, it's varying a little bit. But that's going to be your coolant fan clutch at fault. And it's an integral part of the uh, 
the, uh, you know, the thermal fan clutch built in there. Uh, but then it's got an electrical portion that measures fan speed. Okay, we got the OE part here. And uh, this is what you're looking at. Here's that connector uh, where we were back probing on uh, the reference voltage circuit. And here's your fan clutch. What a pile of uh, craziness here. But quick tip, go with the OE. It's cheaper than the Dorman. It's like half the price. Um, I, I don't know if the Dorman's any better, but uh, I would just go with the GM part. That would be my suggestion in this case. So we're gonna swap this thing out, confirm the repair, and get this customer back on the road. Oh yeah. All right, one more quick uh, tidbit of info. It could be any of these things drawn down on that reference uh, circuit. Um, uh, most of the codes we've got are, uh, you know, the reference circuit voltage is low, so it kind of gets grounded out when it gets shorted in the coolant fan uh, speed circuit. Uh, but uh, don't forget, a uh, common problem can also be uh, a little less common, the crank position, or yeah, crank position sensor. Um, this also supplies reference voltage to that EVAP fuel tank pressure sensor. And let's not overlook the accelerator pedal position. Those can be problematic, but you usually get a little different set of codes. It won't draw down this circuit in the same way. So you won't have some of these calm codes. And uh, I don't think you'll get, uh, well, usually um, the other codes with like the uh, coolant fan speeds reference circuit. Uh, but also you may end up having to go on the uh, harness side of things uh, between the PCM, of course, and back probe things there and trace down your loss of reference voltage that way. Uh, you know, you just got to start unhooking stuff. But I knew to look at the uh, coolant fan circuit, the, the fan clutch circuit, and uh, we got lucky this time. We get lucky here more than, more than I deserve. Okay, real quickly, the pain in the butt here is the removal of the fan and fan shroud assembly um, to access the clutch. And basically the video I'm gonna attach a link to in the descriptions is gonna talk about how to save some time doing that. But uh, basically it's gonna involve removing two of the fan to fan clutch retaining bolts and installing these longer bolts, which will allow the fan clutch assembly uh, to, uh, to move forward towards the radiator, towards the front of the vehicle when uh, removing it. And basically you'll have to unscrew the fan clutch threaded portion, which threads onto the end of the water pump and there's not enough clearance to move that back uh, for the fan. Uh, the fan will inhibit movement of the clutch that far back so that we can disconnect that and then pull the whole assembly out. So by removing two of the bolts and replacing them with longer ones and then removing the two other ones, that'll allow for enough clearance to remove that and then pull the whole assembly. Your other option is to make the cut and the cut uh, is a hack job where uh, you cut the shroud down here to allow for the uh, basically the radiator upper radiator neck at the tank clearance to then remove the shroud past it. Don't recommend it, uh, but if it's your ride and you don't care, uh, there is a hack job method available for you. So I'm gonna attach a link to that. I don't really have time today to go into great detail about uh, the removal process, but let me pull this off of here and we'll uh, replace the clutch. Okay, here's the bolt length difference. And uh, I know it's kind of a brain tease to figure out what this all does, but just do it, trust me. Or you can 
you can try it without this technique uh, and you'll figure out why otherwise you know there you go put one across from each other thread them in a little bit that'll allow the clearance for the plastic fan to move forward when you remove it uh, the clutch off of the water pump now I'll remove the final uh, fastener Then we just remove these two bolts here. Basically, your two bolts are just centering that, holding it all together for reassembly, and then uh, giving you the ability to just, after you get it installed, uh, go ahead and thread this back onto the water pump and replace your bolts, and you're good to go. Here's where your real clearance issues are, and this is where some people make the cut to accommodate the upper radiator outlet. Okay, make sure you get the two pins at the bottom of the shroud uh, to go into the lower radiator support uh, location holes, uh, and also make sure your upper shroud uh, retainer goes in right there uh, basically at the center and then you can reinstall your two mounting bolts and then we can go about reconnecting the fan all right we got it running cleared the codes up to normal operating temperature can hear that fan clutch um, you know it's a little bit tighter than the other one uh, you can hear it uh, functioning differently and uh, of course no return codes or reduced power situation so i feel good about that uh, just a reminder go ahead and check that harness connecting to the shroud there at the uh, connector for the fan clutch 
uh, just down from there where it runs along the upper radiator support. You want to make sure you don't have any uh, rub through and shorting there. Uh, but in this case, just the clutch itself was uh, internally funked. And uh, we got that squared away. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you watching. And uh, wish you good luck with the repairs you're working on. Have a good one.